Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, the 23rd of November, Thanksgiving Eve Eve. And we are in this warm air, very cold up north, and still we'll have a major transition to cold weather at the end of the week. How much rain, any severe weather, how cold? Let's talk about it. Check the Skycam shots early this morning. That's from uh, Birmingham. And let me tell you what, uh, temperatures are very mild. We've got uh, mid and even upper 60s in spots this morning. You can see the low clouds kind of hanging over the city. There's the uh, sky cam from Gadsden, the same thing there. Uh, clouds are uh, pretty low. That ceiling's only about probably 1,500 feet. And from Selma, that's the Edmund Pettus Bridge crossing the Alabama River. The uh, lead wave that brought severe weather to parts of the Midwest last night is lifting up into Canada, and the front is just kind of running out of gas. Uh, produced a pretty significant tornado up in uh, the Rockford, Illinois area. Uh, in fact, you check the blog. We've got some video of that. And the next uh, impulse is out in the northwest. Of course, it's awfully cold up there. There's your surface front with that initial wave. It's, it's got a little push. The front is on past Indianapolis. It's still north of Memphis and north of Dallas-Fort Worth. But again, you can see the contrast. It looks like in Oklahoma, you got McAllister at 67, Tulsa at 35. And, of course, deep in the cold air, it's uh, way below zero up there. And, yeah, look at Tuscaloosa, 68 degrees at 5 o'clock. That is six degrees above the average high today. Uh, Birmingham at 66 and uh, Anniston and Gadsden, 63. You know, you see numbers like that here in late November at, at 5 in the morning. You worry about severe weather, but we think in this case we won't have a big problem. And around the nation, there's your contrast. Uh, uh, you've got uh, even some 70s early this morning at 5 o'clock over Louisiana and Texas. But up north, looks like the coldest pocket on this map is 26 below zero. That's pretty brutal. Up there in uh, Montana, many spots are as cold as uh, 10 to 15 below zero. Yikes. All right, in the uh, moist air mass, not much happening. Just a couple of little showers around, as you can see, at 512. But uh, if you go to the... Uh, uh, radar coming out of uh, Columbus Air Force Base. You can see the uh, rain with the front that's much more widespread over Tennessee. Uh, pretty good rain falling along Interstate 40 from Memphis up to Nashville. That will slowly fizzle out with time, but still, we do expect to see at least a few passing showers around here today. All right, uh, no severe weather expected today. This is tomorrow's convective outlook, day two for Wednesday. And again, this is your big travel day. Got a risk of severe weather for Tulsa, Fort Smith, Fayetteville, Little Rock, Springfield, almost up to St. Louis. And again, that is in the warm sector ahead of that front that's just kind of meandering back and forth across the nation's heartland. Uh, so if you're traveling, just be aware of that. And then day three for Thanksgiving Day, uh, only low-end probabilities at 5%. Uh, Shreveport, Greenville, Mississippi, Places like that. It should not be a major problem, although there certainly could be a few strong storms around. All right, and this is the traveler's map you don't want to see if you're headed to the northwest or the Rockies. That's our watch warning map. The eastern half of the nation quiet as a mouse, except for one winter weather advisory over the northern tip of Maine. But look at the blizzard warnings for the mountains of Colorado. Goodness gracious. Over into the uh, Wasatch of Utah. Uh, just a big mess out there. So, again, uh, travelers beware. For the Western Mountains, if you want snow skiing, uh, it'll be a ton of snow you'll have, but good luck getting there. And uh, the QPF chart, overall rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. Uh, in Alabama, the, the heavier totals are up in the northwestern corner of the state. This is suggesting the shoals might pick up two inches of rain. But you go down to Dothan, the amounts are closer there to uh, one-half inch. But a really good soaking there from the delta of the Mississippi River all the way up into uh, Pittsburgh. All right, let's take you one day at a time with the GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is the OZ run at noon today. And you can see that the, the front's going to have a hard time pushing south because it's parallel to the upper airflow. And down below that, the front still will be north of us at midday. And again, uh, slowly sagging south, so uh, no doubt there'll be a chance of a few passing showers and maybe a storm today, but we don't expect any severe weather. There's just not much dynamic forcing. Tonight at uh, midnight... The front tries to ease in here, but it just kind of fizzles out. Uh, 
Uh, what's going to happen is going to stop and move back north as a warm front in response to the new developing low back off to the west. But again, there will certainly will be a chance of showers tonight, but the rain probably not all that widespread. Tomorrow, pre-Thanksgiving travel. Well, it's brutally cold in the west. Uh, very heavy snow will likely develop over the uh, uh, Dakotas, parts of the mountains of Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana. Again, uh, rain. For the travelers, uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, Tulsa, Little Rock, St. Louis, Kansas City, up to Chicago. And they got a strong south wind, and they, you know, they're going to be waffling. It's going to be very baffling trying to dress for those mid-America cities out there because that front's just kind of going back and forth. Uh, where they're in the cold air today, they'll be in the warm air tomorrow. Of course, we stay in the warm air all the way through Thanksgiving. And around here tomorrow, widely scattered showers, nothing beyond that. It's just I don't think it's going to rain that much. We stay in the 70s. Uh, the, the northeast is cold and dry. Uh, New York City, if you're going up to Boston, New York, Philadelphia, you're fine up there. Thanksgiving Day, the front tries to move south but not making much progress. Again, we think the bulk of the day Thursday will be dry. Could there be a shower? Absolutely, in this kind of air mass. Highs in the 70s, muggy, uh, maybe a shower, but you can see clearly the bulk of the rain is off to the northwest. Here's midnight Thursday night. The front begins to ease in here, so the uh, better chance of showers and storms will come really late tomorrow night, maybe even after midnight. All right, Friday, again, you can see we don't have a really big phased full latitude trough, a big high amplitude pattern here. So the cold air is just going to creep in here. And uh, down below that, the surface boundary is south, obviously. You can see the thickness values coming way down. And again, timing out the end of that rain is the big challenge. Uh, you think that the rain should be over in time for the Iron Bowl, but we are not going to guarantee that. I would take the rain gear just in case, and certainly it's going to be kind of a raw and cold day. Uh, we'll be in the 40s all day. Temperature is probably going to sit around 45 or 46 and just hang out there all day long. Uh, and again, when you wake up early Friday morning, it might be closer to 60, but it'll drop down there toward 45 and just sit there with a chilly north wind. And again, some light rain. I would take the rain gear just in case the rain lingers past kickoff in Tuscaloosa, and it could do that. All right, Saturday, the sun will be back. We'll start the day in the 20s. The GFS is showing 27. A daytime high of 55. Sunday should be a beautiful day, mostly sunny with a high in the low 60s. So Saturday and Sunday will feature a warming trend. Hey, look at the trough early next week on Monday. Off to the west. And down below that, the gulf is wide open. A pretty good band of showers and storms coming in. And Tuesday, it's passing on through to the east. So it might be Monday night, really, before uh, the dynamics get involved. And there could be some strong storms with that. And again, very cold air behind that. And Wednesday, the 1st of December, looks pretty cold with a 540 line down to Birmingham, and that's Arctic air involved, so that could be pretty cold. And this is the one everybody's buzzing about. Ooh, December 5th. Uh, and we'll say this, the model has been very persistent in this, uh, showing that uh, uh, negative tilt trough, uh, surface low coming up to the Gulf and over off the uh, South Atlantic coast in a big snowstorm here. But longtime viewers will know what that is. It's voodoo. You don't get excited about it. Uh, can it happen? Of course, but odds are it won't. We'll keep an eye on that. And on the 8th, look at the big trough to the west. That looks wet and potentially stormy there. Sure looks interesting, doesn't it, for the next couple of weeks. And again, the NAO is strongly negative uh, in early December, so that would certainly open the door for some maybe cold weather mischief. We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.